Hi, this is Will, your online brain training and self-image expert here today with day 14 of our 21-day series called Eat That Elephant in the Room. Today's topic is momentum. Have you ever noticed that if you've got really great momentum, you can have a crappy day or a crappy week and still the results flow in, either financially, in your relationship, in your health. If you've got great health momentum, you can eat really bad food for the day, you'll feel a little bit bad, but basically you can rebound really quick. The same thing happens in every area of your life, be it negative or positive. I was talking to a really good friend the other day and he said that he's still picking up the pieces from a really negative thing that happened and all the momentum from that, it's taken him everything he has just to stop the negative momentum. He said he felt like Spider-Man in Spider-Man 2 when he's trying to stop the train and he shoots out all the spider webs on either side to then get enough strength to be able to slow the momentum of the train. He said he felt like he's finally got this train to a zero so that now we can start moving it in the right direction. So for you, with your elephant in the room, chances are if you've got an elephant in the room, you've got some negative momentum. You've got some results that are piling on top of each other and it's just gonna take you some effort and time to stop the negative momentum like Spider-Man holding on until he can get that train to zero. So in these 21 days, if in these 21 days all you do is get to zero, that's awesome. So how can you get to zero so that you can then start to build positive momentum back. So some tips and tricks on how to help you do that. Number one, you've got to start thinking differently. Obvious, right? We've heard this a million times. How do you do that? Write out the thoughts that you want to think. We talked in yesterday's video about creating your visual, your auditory, and your spiritual tools that you can use. So you want to use those to actually get to negative, or sorry, get to zero, not negative. So what that looks like is maybe you've been thinking, I'm in such bad shape, I feel really terrible, I feel horrible, I feel bad all the time. Getting to zero might sound like things aren't so bad, I'm starting to get things back on track, I'm not at my ideal weight yet, but I'm going to get there, I've started to take some new actions. So you've got some new thinking there. The second is, it's so big, your physiology your physiology. You've probably heard me say this before. You've probably heard Tony Robbins talk about, talk about it before. If you've got some negative momentum, chances are your body shows it. You don't feel as good. You're hunched over. You're not breathing as well. You're sitting at your desk typing like this. Sit up, expand, stretch, feel good, feel big. There's something that I've been doing for a long time and it's on a video that I love that I've been watching for probably two years now. It's a motivational video that I watch and I listen to in the background while I'm working. And when that video plays and these words get spoken, I, every single time I stand up and I spread my arms as wide as I can and I feel what it will feel like when I'm on stage delivering my message to thousands of people. It's a quote by Les Brown and he says every time, it's not over until I win. And I raise my arms higher and I go, you can live your dreams. And it feels so good every time. And I hope I didn't hurt your ears with this microphone, but it changes my physiology. I start to counteract that negative momentum that I've been building up to get to zero so that I can then build it in the positive. So number one, your thought patterns. Number two, your physiology. Number three is meditate. Meditation is one of the best ways of getting to zero. When you meditate, all those thoughts are going to come up. I heard it said by a really great meditation teacher that meditation is like you either have this great spiritual experience where you feel connected to all that is, or you have a million thoughts come up and it's like you're a Coke bottle. You shake the Coke bottle, all that fizz rises to the top and then dissipates. Both are equally as beneficial. When you meditate, sometimes you have that blissful, you know, nothingness experience and you don't have any thoughts, which is wonderful. But most of the time for most of us, especially in North America or in Western countries, we have that Coke bottle experience where all that stuff gets fizzed up. It's equally as beneficial. All that stuff coming up is helping you to get to zero so that hopefully at the end of your 15 minute, five minute, 30 minute meditation, or after seven days or 21 days, you're now at a place of zero. So those are the three things to help you get to zero so you can then start to build that momentum in the positive direction. Hope this has been helpful. See you tomorrow for day 15.